Hi everyone, and welcome to Linear Abacus. My name is Genevieve Gross, and in this video, I'm going to be modeling one of the activities from our games book called What's the Difference? I'll start by demonstrating how to play the game, and at the end of the video, I will review the key mathematical ideas and skills that you're developing as you play. So let's begin. This game is played with two players, and you only require two resources to play. We begin by rolling the dice to make two numbers. We've decided to compare 57 to 24. We'll start by locating the larger number, 57. We can think of 57 as 5 tens and 7 ones. If I know that one full row of colour is 10, then I can count by groups of tens and ones. One group of 10, two groups of 10, three groups of 10, four groups of 10, five groups of 10, and seven ones. Alternatively, I could have located bead 60 first and subtract three ones. Now I simply slide the beads to the left hand side of the abacus string. I have found my first number, which is 57. I can use the same process to find 24. Starting at the gold end, I can count one group of 10, two groups of 10, and four ones. I have found both numbers on the abacus string. To find the difference, we use a process known as a zero pinch, where we pinch the abacus string right after the smaller number, which is 24. Notice that this makes a gap in the string, and it is this group of beads over here that represents the difference between the two numbers. To count the difference, I need to move the location of the zero. This means I move the zero from its original position to this position over here, and I can count on from this spot. I can see two full rows of 10, which give me 20. And I know that this group of beads is part of a full row of 10, but I'm only using six. The same goes for this group. I know that there are three left over in the bead bank, which means that this group would be seven. Using a descriptive calculation, I would write two times 10 in brackets plus six plus seven. In the next step, I would answer my brackets as 20 plus six plus seven. In the third step, I would use some number bonds to add 20 plus 13. And in the final step, I would calculate the difference as 33. Notice that the calculation matches what I see on the beads. Now in this next part, I'm going to show you how you can name the difference using place value. On the beads, I can make my first group of 10 by using color. Here you can see I have six blue beads, so I will need to use four of the yellow beads to make my first group of 10. Now all I need to do is simply line the beads next to each other to see how many groups of 10 there are. Any leftovers can be thought of as ones. We can still see bead 24 and bead 57, but now we can see why the difference is called 33. Here is a group of 10 which is shown three times, and a group of one which is also shown three times. This is player A's result. They have a difference of 33. Let's take a look at player B's results. We can see that they were comparing 32 to 13. To calculate the difference, we can add 10 plus 7 plus 2. And when we use place value to fold the difference, we can see that this is a total of 19. So player A and B would then compare their difference and the player with the larger difference will score a point. In this case, player A has won the round. The first of five wins. We hope you enjoy playing this activity. Now, for parents and teachers, we're gonna review some of the key maths ideas and skills that your child's developing as they play the game. So in this activity, students learned many different things. To begin with, they learnt how to compare two numbers additively and talk about this relation as a difference. On the abacus string, they learnt new techniques as they showed what this concept was, as well as developing new language to describe their actions and how they were thinking. 
they also had the chance to learn about different numerals and how to represent them. For instance, in our example, the numbers 57 and 24 were count numbers and they could be assigned to individual beads. But the difference, which was 33, was not a count number and it couldn't be assigned to any bead. Instead, this was an action that was being performed on the abacus string. We used a green arrow above the beads to show the difference. They also developed their mental facts and strategies by using the colour on the string to help them reason mathematically. And finally, they had the opportunity to use some of their prior skills and knowledge of place value to name the difference.